OK, this is exciting. I've had 10 minutes to look at this because the store version of Power BI has been updated and there's a new feature that is pretty awesome. New fields parameter. OK, let's check it out. This is worthy of a new intro. Here we go. We have a new preview feature called field parameters. Check it out. OK, you've got to go into File, Options and Settings, Options and turn on Field Parameters. OK, so what does it do? Well, let me show you. I'm going to go New Parameter under the Modeling tab, Fields. And I can put things in this Fields box. Let me give it a name like Chosen Measure. And I'll go to my Measures table and I'll say I want the user to be able to choose whether the visual shows the uh, sales dollar, the budget, or the variance percentage. And you can get it to add a slicer to the page. So I click Create. Here comes the slicer. OK, and that's the formula that gets written. But here's the little slicer. I'll come back to explain this in a second. Let me make this a bit bigger. I'll go for slicer settings, actually go for horizontal. And I'll go for the values, we'll make them bigger. OK, let's go over here. Beautiful. But what this does is it creates a little table called chosen measure. OK, and I can create a little table visual or something. So let's go for a table showing cost center names. Let me just make this bigger grid. OK, options. Let me go from size. I've got to make this big to show you because this is cool. And then I'm going to put this chosen measure into this box. So I'll just tick it, chosen measure. All of them display because none of the slices are selected. But look, I can click on sales or budget or variance. OK, and it will show which one you've got selected, which is cool. But that's not only it. Look, the sales dollar displays in dollars. The budget, I haven't got dollars formatted. The variance percentage shows in percentages. OK, so all that sort of formatting stuff is taken care of which is awesome. But this gets even better. Um, check this out. If I create another one, so let's go um, modeling, new parameter, fields, and I add something like um, period choice. OK, and in there I will put my uh, year, my quarter and my months, and I click create. So here's another little slicer. And I'll actually change this one to maybe a single select. So I'll go here, slicer settings, selection, force single select. And let's make the values a bit bigger so we can see them as well. OK, and if I turn this into a matrix, so let's go back here, change this to a matrix visual. My chosen measure goes into my values box. And my period choice, OK, where's my little table, period choice, that can go into my columns. So there's my year showing. I probably need a little year slicer as well. So let me just add one of those from my calendar. Let's add a year slicer. And let's make that a list. OK, so I'm going to pick 2020, for example. So there's the year. If I go quarter, shows me the various quarters. Let's pick a different different period. OK, and then month. So let me make this bigger so we can all see. So there's my sales by month or by quarter or for the year. And I want to see the budget by month. I want to see the variance percentage. OK, so all sorts of options in here. It's pretty cool. I've only been playing with this for 10 minutes. I'm already excited. Hope you can tell. Um, one thing I did notice when I was just playing around, let's say I, because what this does is create a little table. OK, so let me go to my table here. So chosen measure, for example. And here's the code. So it creates this little sort order, 0, 1, 2. OK, so you can play about with that. You can use these, um, change these names. Um, there'll be a blog out about this, uh, explain this name of, it's to allow it to be renamed. But check this out. If I go to 
um, into this little table here, okay? And I, maybe, or in here, let's go in here and I change this to um, actual sales dollar. Okay, it changes here and it changes here, which is great, okay? But if I actually name it, change the name of it somewhere else, like up here, if I'd gone to, see budget is referring to budget, and I refer, I change this measure to, let's say, budget sales dollar. Let me make sure that's the same. Okay, so this is now budget sales, but this is still the same budget. But if I go back to my model here, see this is saying budget, but it's referring to budget sales dollar. So you can call these whatever you want. This is really the purpose of this name of, I believe. Again, I've only been playing about with this shortly. But you can edit this, you can add more rows. But to edit or add stuff, you have to write the code currently. There's no button. So there you go. Pretty awesome. All sorts of functionality. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. This looks good. Let me know what you think. Catch you later.